Hi everyone. A lot of people have been complaining about the new Garage Band. Now, I happen to actually like the new Garage Band quite a bit. And um, one of the biggest complaints people have had, though, is that you can't use audio plugins. Um, I thought that at first, too. It's not actually true. And I'm going to show you how to enable audio plugins right now. Um, if you go to Preferences, just click General, or actually Audio MIDI, and then go to Effects and then check the Enable Audio Units button. I also like to enable the um, Global Echo and Reverb because I sometimes like to layer reverbs, um, and that will also let you place old songs that you had in your previous GarageBand. So I'll show you why this is useful. Um, right here I have uh, a very, very dry synth sound. Um, now. I can start to, to make that a little more interesting by using the delay and the reverb and the ambience that they have on the smart controls over here, but they just don't give me quite enough depth. Um, even if I crank these all the way, I'm never going to get really a huge sound. I can't change the room size, I can't change my delay lengths, anything like that. But now that I've enabled these audio plugins, I have this audio unit section down here. So now I can go in here and add something like, for example, um, the AU delay. Now this isn't quite as good as what we have in Logic, but it works pretty well. Um, in Logic you could actually sync the delay with the beat. Here I'm going to have to just listen and then slide the delay to where I want it, which is I want kind of that kind of slap backing type sound, kind of like the Edge's guitar in U2, if you know what I mean. So now we've added some delay, let's play around with adding a little reverb. You see we have just one reverb knob on the smart control, but if we open Matrix Reverb, we have this monstrous panel of, of options. I'm going to make it all large room. This is just from the default, then I'm going to make that large room monstrous. And I'm going to play with the wet dry mix a little bit and now let's see what we got. Now that's kind of more what I'm looking for. I'm going to turn down the reverb in the smart control and then turn off the delay in the smart control as well so I'm only using the audio units now. Bring a little more reverb. And I'll show you what that sounds like now if I add some uh, automation that I already had recorded to you. I have another tutorial that's on automation that's going to be coming out in just a little bit here. So there you go. Um, you can also use audio unit instruments. So that means like you could use Diva or Zebra or um, even something like Nexus if you wanted to in GarageBand. So they actually didn't take away that feature. They just made it a little bit less obvious. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any comments. Um, and also subscribe. Thanks. Bye.